So whether for a regular document typing, basic to advanced gaming, or perhaps just to use a peripheral alternative to spare your laptops or MacBooks expensive integrated keys, you certainly would want to use a solid, high quality, yet affordable keyboard. The thing is, there's a lot of great options out on the market, like Amazon, that fall in this category. But let me give you a good pick that you might want to consider getting, and we're gonna unbox it in this video. I'll also give my honest user feedback on this keyboard from Stoga. All of this, coming up. So thanks to Stoga who has been very kind to send us this product called MK17, an 87 key gaming mechanical keyboard with blue keys and RGB LED backlighting. They've sent it to me for free but I'm gonna tell you my completely transparent feedback on this product but before that, a simple thumbs up from you is a great reward for my work done on this video to help this channel grow and keep me make more helpful contents in the future. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm just an ordinary guy who uses a Windows laptop and I am no way close to being a keyboard expert but what I'm gonna share with you in this video are all based on my honest experience from using this keyboard every day for almost a month now for all my typical PC activities including document typing and basic gaming. If you want me to make another video for a long-term after-use review on this product in the future, let me know in the comment section below and I promise to consider making one. And if you want more tech-related contents, be updated with our future uploads by subscribing now and hitting the bell button. Now let me show you first the packaging and its contents. It comes in this sturdy, full printed box and the actual keyboard is cased in a protective plasticky foam cover with impact absorbent foam holding blocks on both ends. I guess the courier can go hard on this without damaging the actual keyboard. Of course you have the USB-C to USB-A connective cable in which I am always particular about checking the quality and I would say this one is of good build and good performance. Causes no delay on transcription. You have some instructional documents here which I suggest you do a good read to maximize the use of this product. So let me do that and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Just kidding. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Now let's inspect the actual keyboard itself. First, to be honest, this keyboard is not lightweight. But it has a purpose. It is a gaming keyboard by design, so it is designed to be rugged and heavy duty. The body is rather thick which I think can hold the impact and pressure from excitement and action by the gamer user. See how it compares to a regular smartphone. It is made of high quality plastic enclosure with a nice black nearly matte finish matching the case. At the bottom, you have these four nice rubber padding, some call this the feet, which are very efficient in doing their job to keep the keyboard stuck in place. And for the comfort of your hands, you have two options for the angular stance or legs, and to be fair, these stance ain't jokes, they're for real. They won't fiddle, they are very sturdy, and they have their own rubber stoppers. Impressive. Now let's go to the top portion. Let me tell you, when I saw this in actual, I was thankful that the arrow, backspace, and escape keys are not as bright as the red keys shown in the pictures on the Amazon store. I like that it's a bit dark, it's just my personal preference though. By the way, the Amazon link for this product is in the description below if you wanna check it out. Of course, after you finish watching this video. No, just kidding, again. Well, the special features of this particular keyboard is not the RGB lighting. We'll go to that shortly. It's this 5 multimedia case which some I find useful and others, for me personally, I do not. I'll start with a volume wheel made of textured metal. This one for me is amazing. Rolling for me is easier than multiple taps on a key. As simple as up and down and your volume will accurately go high or low. The experience of rolling it is actually satisfying and you can feel the ridges which helps a lot an accurate adjustment of the volume. Right next to it is the mute button. I used to mute my audio using the soft volume adjustment on the screen, using my mouse since the laptop key is farther to me on my work table. But with this keyboard, it's now more accessible within my reach, and this now became very useful to me. We have our baby in the same room, hence the need for occasional complete silence. Um, don't forget the Stogel logo there in the middle. It adds a little bit of accent 
especially in a team environment. Next one is the calculator button, which I never used, even when I'm gaming. I only play racing games though, but I'm not sure if some RPG games require calculations. But for admin works, this can be very useful. Sitting next to it is the search key which will automatically pop up the start button on Windows to make the search bar available on your screen if you're on the desktop homepage. But if you're on a web browser, it will automatically bring you to your browser search bar Then you just need to type in what you need to search for. Now that's it. Oh no, you still have two other buttons here. I'm sorry, I almost forgot. Yeah, the sleep button and the shutdown or switch button. Essentially, they do the same job. I don't know, but maybe I'm missing something here. When I press any of these two buttons, it'll put my screens to sleep mode. Same thing happens if I long press the switch button. It will just put my PC to sleep. Maybe I'm missing something here. There might be a trick I haven't decoded yet. Let me know in the comment section if there's something I need to learn here. But these two buttons, they serve no purpose at least for me, based on my own manner of using a keyboard. Moving on, right below these multimedia keys is a straight horizontal dip that separates the multimedia keys to the keycaps. Of course, you have the function keys here for some basic functions, but let me highlight this particular one, the gaming backlight. Just press the function key plus delete key and you will have this gaming lighting effect. Again, just have a good read of the accompanying user manual to learn all the key combinations for this gaming keyboard. All four corners of the body are quite pointed with a nice slopey configuration from top to bottom. The left and right bezels are about 0.7 cm and the bottom stretch is approximately 1.4 cm. The keycaps are made of 1mm thin ABS plastic and key legends are made of another layer of translucent and white plastics so they won't fade away unlike the printed ones. The font on the keycaps are pretty standard but hey, it serves its purpose, though not very aesthetically attractive. The number lock, cups lock and scroll lock indicators are found on this part of the keyboard and are of course lit when enabled. Reading the manual in the box, you will learn how to customize the RGB lighting effects. This is how it starts up when power comes in. It will show this lighting animation, followed by the last set RGB lighting effect. And you have 18 RGB lighting options, so it all boils down to your personal preference. I personally am minimalistic, so this one is what I'm using. I wish though that there's a fixed lighting color feature since I personally prefer only having one lighting color, but at least my daughter finds this multicolor backlight entertaining. The MK17 has swappable clicky blue switches, so like other budget mechs, this has tactile bumps with loud high-pitched audible clicking. You can also replace each key switch individually using the right tool without dismantling the entire keyboard 
but I don't think I will be needing that, so I didn't try. It is important to know that these keys are not waterproofed nor dustproofed, so just be mindful about putting a bottle or a glass of drink on your work table. Now I know you're wondering how typing on this keyboard sounds like, so here's for your ears. Oops, that's enough, this isn't an ASMR channel. But to be fair, I like it that it doesn't have that much of lingering springy metallic ping sound from the keys or switches that makes some Mac keyboards sound cheap. It's very minimal for this keyboard which is somehow impressive. So overall, I have to be honest, I'm stoked by this keyboard. The build is nice, it's sleek, clean and simple but with style. But I think a more interesting factor to note is its price point at a £60 mark. I think this is a pretty durable but an affordable mechanical gaming keyboard. So what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. And again, if you want to check this out, the Amazon store link is in the description below. So I hope you find this content helpful and please, please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And why not subscribe now if you want more. So stay safe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.